why 50k per month? I could talk about 100k month. Why do you want to have 50k month? I chose to talk about 50k month in design going beyond the money as the springboard to more and more money today because I'm so fired up after this amazing call that I just had with Ashton. Yay! <laughs> Some clients are just like, okay, can we just move in together? And that means a lot for projectors, right? Hi, Melanie, all the HD club and the stage and loses here. Yay! Okay, so 50K month. I want to talk about this today. How, the how in design because yes, I could talk about 100K, I could talk about 10K. The principles are the same, but now for me, 50K month are the my energetic minimum. I can say I fully embody and have a rock solid energy behind making 50K month as a minimum every month. So you can hit it once and then it collapses. A lot of people teaching, claiming, marketing certain numbers, but always discerning of how often do they have that? How embodied is it? How rock solid is that? So 50K month. And it is pretty, pretty simple, but it's not easy. And that's the difference. So when we see successful people making it so effortless, right? And even talking about how effortless it can be, then they A, either don't tell the truth about it, the behind the scenes, because it's not on brand, yeah? Or it is a really hard practice of holding it holding that thing, whatever you want to achieve, it takes practice and then consistency, dedication, discipline, and a lot of energy to hold a level. Maybe you can agree, hitting a goal once, you can do it, but hitting it over and over and over and making that your new normal, new reality with anything in life, it, it takes actually more to stay consistent with it than just hitting it once. Agree? Do you agree? Say yes in the comments. So, I have another green juice here. I am not ordering green juice anymore. My spleen said I want to do it myself. I do it even better. <laughs> this is always how it goes. I let other people do it for me and then I'm like, ah, I could do it better. Such a second line thing. And then I go and do all the ingredients that my spleen tells me, we need this, we need this, we need this. Because when I order online, I always go like, yeah, I would like to order it, but can you just not put this in it, but do this? So I just do it myself. Yeah. So I want to talk about three things today. And this is kind of, as I took some notes, I'm like, okay, are we teaching a master class again here? I mean, all the things that I have now as my normal, this is one thing. The level you're operating at is not a reflection of the money you make, but at the same time, I notice that, of course, the more I evolve, the more I live my design, the more I'm in integrity with my design, it's a, it's a different level. It's, a, it's more ease. It's just what I do. It's what I speak. It's what I want and operating at that level, not just because making money, the quick fix, it's teaching, it's guiding, it's leading, desire, motivation, line two is it's just, it's just my natural thing that I do and there's no effort in it. So do you have pen and paper ready? Because I'm going to teach you three things today. Uh, first I thought, shall I really teach it now? It is a master class. It is really content that I could teach and a paid class for, but I want to have a conversation with you. So not just being a good student in the comments and if you watch the replay, uh, just take notes and try to figure that shit out later with, by yourself and implement it. Um, good luck with that. <laughs> with all the things on, on free on the internet, it only takes you to a certain point. You know that. Um, if you want to make 50k month, you know that, um, where you are right now, you didn't came here just with a freebie of someone, you know that. So 
I want to have a conversation. So whenever I say something and it resonates, like let's take notes in the comments and let give me something, um, invite me deeper, um, give me some feedback, recognize me for something, call something out out of my second line. Okay, let's work design here as well. And you just take notes instead of your on your pen and paper. You just write it here in the comments. That would be so fun and makes it even more successful, enjoyable for me. And my ego would be so satisfied to do something like this for the tribe. Okay? Yes? Can I get a yes in the comments while I take some of my juice? And don't ask me for my juice recipes because it's highly, it's just intuitive. It's just throwing a bunch of stuff that I need now in this juicer and that's it. And then I forget about it. So when we want to attract next level clients, I would like to ask you and involve you in this conversation. So conversation means back and forth, okay? Conversation, and I, I noticed that there's a little bit of a delay in the comments, so I, I will be patient and not shout at you, <laughs> you know? So it requires, I wanna ask you, what is, when you may choose a number, so that we have something to play with. What is, I say, okay, my, my 50K client, my next level client is my 50K, 100K client who want not pay me 50K, but represents a level of client that is at a certain income level. So when you're making 10K and you are consistent in 10K, you have a certain type of clients, a certain quality of clients. When you want to attract a higher next level client, it also reflects you raise your prices, you you want to get paid for more and it is a different conversation and you talk about different topics, it's a different attitude, a different vibe also from this client. So I'm talking about if you want to make 50k a month, you've got to also attract a different type of client. Let's say this 50k client. Okay, what is your number behind that client? Tell me in the comments, is it your 5K client? Amazing, because all these three steps that I talk about is applicable for every level so that you get weight from where you are to the next level. And that is important because um, understanding that you are not lacking anything and then a millionaire, a million dollar earner lacks. It is just a different way how people with less experience in business deal with things rather than people who make multi millions or a couple of how thousands like I crossed just crossed the half a million this year and I notice I remember the way how I dealt with situations now I know how to handle it I know how to deal with it faster I move through fear faster I move through emotions faster like there is the success that you see in me comes from experience and self-trust. And so even experience around, I'm not clear. I don't know how we move through things faster. And one key code, key secret that really got me moving and uh, is to um, be innovative with solutions. So um, I want to be able to turn the key fast and see if this lock hits and the door opens or not. And then I drop the key fast. So if I think this is the key for that door and it doesn't work, <laughs> I don't sit there and think, why is this key not working? It's like I drop it and I look for the new thing. So innovation. And as I said, I'm still waiting for your numbers. This is also a thing. I am declaring, talking about money and my next level, that it's gonna be a millionaire, million dollar year next year so openly without fear of oh my god what do people think about me what if i don't hit it yeah i declared it at the beginning of this year as well and i'm not hitting it because i mean i still have a month i could do like four hundred thousand per month why not possibility view right but detaching from it and not giving it a meaning is so super super important um, so that you are also seen. This is one thing that I'm going to talk about, how people perceive you and look at you and how much unapologetic you are and just own what you want and step up as a leader. Yes, now we're here, Ashen. Of course, we go big. 
Hello everyone who's just joining. I love it. I love it. I love to see everything here. Just own it. Get your get your energy behind it. Be proud. Don't put this emoji behind it. Just go. Just go. Leave leave those silly emojis behind because just own that shit and then get your energy behind it and when it's locked in then here all this uh, I noticed I noticed this. You put a number out there and everyone see you're not alone. Everyone puts a whatever you wanna make it apologize or explain it behind it. Not required, not required. We're no emotions here in the game. Money is just energy and it's a resource. We don't wanna make it too a meaning. We just play with it. Okay? So the less you have a thought about it or about you, the faster you will succeed because then you don't give it a meaning if things are not happening or if it's failing or if people don't buy. So I'm excited to see these numbers. I'm a defined ego. I love to talk about money. Uh, it's it's the same thing as if I was, were talking about, you know what, I talk about my hair or we talk about the makeup and I ask you, hey, what is your most favorite lipstick color? And you put red or or brown in, in it or nude, there's no explanation, no emoji that you love purple lipstick. It's the same thing, but we just give it such an emotional, there is such an emotional charge around it because it's the conditioning. It's your not self, okay? So please let the not self off the table. Let's just have here amazing uh, high level business conversations, okay? So 50K month, that means um, three things that you have to, to ha wherever you are, have your number here and you want to get there. Let me ask you, because that was something I asked on my stories and I'm here as a bullshit detector and destroyer and kind of expand you in your possibilities that I see for you. And I want you to, um, achieve that. I desire motivation wants you to, to succeed. So what is the belief, the main core belief, why you cannot have it? Why is it, why is it hard to get there? What is the challenge that you're facing right now when you want to reach that goal? Tell me, what are you lacking? You think you're lacking because you're actually lacking nothing, absolutely nothing. So put that in the comments. Anytime I, and I want to tell you that the, every conversation that I have with my client, whether they make 10K or 50K, it's the same conversation. And it goes, basically, there are two main topics that we are talking about all the time, which is clarity and the beliefs that we have around it. Clarity about what is required or actually what is not required, because this is the thing that a lot of women that I work with, from my own experience, and especially when it comes to scaling your business, still think that you have to do a lot because they have been, most of you who are making 10K, 20K, 30K, came to a point where this belief of I have to work more to earn more got affirmed. And so scaling now is to destroy that belief about all the things that is required, especially around one thing, which is the main thing. Hi, Romain. So good to see you. So amazing. So if you're just starting, then there's still, what do you start with, right? There's still certain things we had in the conversation on our call action that an offer I'm really passionate about. See, it is clarity. Clarity about what is the offer. Clarity about what to start with. Clarity, um, putting the energy behind it. Like you said, yes, queen energy. So good. Um, Romaine, there's um, showing up authentically. So there's these beliefs that we have about what is required so that for the first thing, this is number one, put this in the comments below, even if you're, I'm really bad. No, 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 no. This is just your not self talking now. So with everything that you're putting here, the self-awareness that you have to have is, it's not me. It is not my, own. it's the program. It's the program that once you believe 
that you cannot show up authentically. It's the program that wants you to believe that you're not good at the offer description. Usually, uh, Melanie, you think that, that that thing that you're passionate about won't sell. Nobody is interested in this. Nobody will buy it. As a first, um, as a as it, it depends which profile you have, the perception people have from you, it's a lot of projections. Anyway, it doesn't matter if you have fifth line or second line, all the other people just project shit on us. Yeah, it's the conditioning. It is the program. So anything that you put here in the comments, look at it and ask yourself, is that really true or is it just the program making me believe? So your first line, you think that you need a lot of information or foundation or knowledge to create an offer or put it in a certain way so that you feel good. I just had the same, see, Ashton, I told you, a lot of my clients, Melanie as well, are first lines. So it is actually required less. So we put so much energy in this thinking what is required, hi Susanna, than just being unapologetically and getting your decision and energy behind it. I just said this to one of my clients today in private client Voxer. Um, she said, you know what, I now finally, because she's, in, she's every week we're celebrating her results and more sales and more aligned way and more offers who are way, way more aligned with her design. And then they sell, of course they sell because it's just mechanics. It is literally just mechanics when you crack the code and have the right key to unlock your, the door to your fractal. These things happen just naturally. You don't have to overthink so much. The passion, the consciousness gets so much easier. And then she said to me, you know what? I always see these these men, these coaches celebrating and are so successful. And I always ask myself, is this possible for me one day too? And she was not believing in herself. That's the whole thing. Of course it is possible because mechanics are mechanics are mechanics. And it is just the belief about yourself. It is the belief that your not self has about yourself. It's the belief the program wants you to believe about yourself. Do you see it? It's not you. You're capable of it. You're designed for success. You have everything in your design. You're not nothing that you're there's nothing that you're lacking. So it's all the beliefs that we have about ourselves. And it's the program and it's only about you against the program. That's all. So then I told her, you know what, these these coaches the difference between your success now and your future success the, the difference between you and the coaches that you think have something that you don't have that's why they're successful a they're not telling you the truth or behind the scenes watch my stories i started doing that and i would start the podcast to talk more about this second most coaches don't teach you you in a differentiated way and this is my big mission and every every spaces that I have is mentorship so I'm I'm as best as I can and I'm learning and growing with it everything that I'm guiding and teaching and now transmitting I I want to do it as differentiated as possible so that you can take something and apply it and do something take it into action so implementation and action is key in my world. Of course, I cannot do this and coach you and look at your design here on a live stream. That's why I have the HD lounge and now the upgrade for it to have a conversation with me. And then there are the other spaces. But I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, not lounge, HD club um, as well today because that changed everything for me to, um, to have higher cash months as recurring income because there there are business models and income streams that also go into it but when you're beginning this this is just like adding on to it so i told her that the difference and this is what i'm telling you as well the difference between where you're now and where you want to be and you see those coaches evolving and me growing and you see me evolving is that the moments and this is not instagrammable this is not what they show the moments where there is no success, where no client buys, where there's unclarity, where they're sitting in the fucking void and being angry and disappointed. Those moments like I had last night. Last night I was closing and then suddenly I was so angry and I was crying. I was so angry that I still could not reach more people, um, that still something 
obviously in in the way that I do is not enough or whatever to wake more people up because I know what's coming and it really scared the fuck out of me in terms of I have to do I, I gotta be even more direct or whatever I'm, I was angry and then these tears came out yeah the difference is between successful people is that in those moments or even when no one signs up because when you up level when you declare I'm ready for the next level universe show me the universe wipes out everyone and everything from your fractal it, it kind of let that fractal co collapse and you got to find your key to the next next one and it takes some time until the universe really catches up like that that and in this period you have to hold it and in this period in this period it's the the most important thing do i have your attention in this period you have to decide that you're going to be successful no matter what what distinguishes successful people no matter which design from but there is something in the design that makes it easier for them and that's the ego the willpower to keep going so and the decision behind it holding that is the key and in those moments where doubt kicks in where nobody buys do you question yourself do you question your offers do you question your capability to do it do you question everything self-doubt is the killer of success and it pulls you out of your frequency So when you have a lot of doubts, everything I do and experience is for my vision. Okay. But when you have moments of doubts, and we all have them, and that's the key thing. Even successful people and multimillionaires have doubts, but the way how they handle it distinguishes them from the ones who don't have the success. The way how I handle it, the way how I make decisions anyways, the way how I go to bed and I'm even more um, committed to show up today and do this live stream, even though this could be a free class, is my commitment, is my ego, is my willpower. And everyone who is in my world experience that through the mechanics and you can bust through not self patterns of self doubt and stopping and then going down a rabbit hole of darkness by just purely being in the energy of my world this is easy this is easy when you understand that mechanics work just without us doing anything getting yourself into a space makes it easier to work on those patterns i have my mentors i'm in the voxer i'm in their dms i have them in my back pocket and in those moments I make decisions from power and from my 50k 100k millionaire self that's the difference that's the only difference and then you will figure it out while you're in the conversation with your mentors while you keep going and trial and erroring your way through and you have the experience you will gain always clarity when you keep going when you stop and when you sit there and if I were just crying and saying, I don't know, I don't know, I'm like, I will figure it out, period. I will figure it out. And I know when I go live today, I give value and I know the ones who will trust themselves and really want to create success in their design will, if it's correct for them and their authority is affirming it, join my spaces I know that I decided and so it is and so I'm not available for anything less and when you repeat it it's rinse and repeat rinse and repeat and then you eventually the universe catches up and there are amazing people on the other side of the phone that go like whoa fuck I love this attitude I love this mindset I love this energy how can I work with you and the invitation the recognition comes so the number one thing drop one in the comments i love that i'm really in a good mood today it's good for you that my ego wants to put something out there where you all benefit from and other people pay me for i might not leave this on my on my um instagram though 
and we'll put it in the resource. This is what I do. Oh yeah, my spleen is like, oh yeah, let's do this. So there won't be, there will only be a 24 hour replay and then it will go into the library of the HD club because we will, um, <laughs> we will, uh, like, this is the place where you get also support and you want to watch this over and over again because, to be honest, the notes that I took were the notes that I took while I was on the call with my mentor um, as a reminder for myself what to focus on to build the millions. So this is really worth millions and you gotta, but as I said, you gotta do it and then the most important thing that unlocks everything I will tell is point three and this is why I will put this as a replay in the club, in the HG club, already knew that, yes, because you will have asked questions while implementing it. Why is it not working? What is wrong? Where do we need to adjust? Um, this all that I'm teaching, all that I'm talking about, all that I'm learning and about design and where I am did not came from knowing and learning it and studying it. It's through experience and then being in a conversation with someone. This is so important. It's aura to aura, flesh to flesh, like Ra said. So that's why the HG Club is the place to be where we can implement it. And we have our Q&A, by the way, on Monday. I'm so excited. And the HD Club upgrade the HD X10 is for the ones who want to scale to $10,000 per month, will have an additional full library about all these things that I'm gonna talk about and further coaching hours with me. So really asking me one-on-one -on -one questions. So I'm very, very, very excited for that. So number one is if you wanna make more money, you're gonna attract more clients, easy. I clear so clear and so by the way there are now close to 20 people here on the live and it would be amazing energetic etiquette like six line rooftop vibes <laughs> desire motivation morals germanists you got me now say hello in the comments just recognize me and have some etiquette and say Hello, welcome to this live stream, 15K month. This is like a masterclass style, right? So you're gonna join my space, my stage. You gotta say hello, that's your ticket. <laughs> Dude, you are allowed, accepted to stay. <laughs> Otherwise the stream was going like, it's not healthy, you gotta remove these people. No, I will not remove them now. Just being real here, <laughs> having some fun. Okay, number one is client attraction. So, hi, Wendy, <laughs> good to see you. Hi. No, Romaine, I know I love you. Hi, Anna. Hey, Leslie. So, thank you for recognizing me. See, that's fun. <laughs> Theta, hello. <laughs> hello, hello, so good to see you. And I know some of you already were on and said hi. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> so number one is how do I attract those clients? How do I attract clients that I that pay me more? And even with this belief, I don't have the clients in my audience that's going to pay me more so that I can get to my next level um, is one of the biggest blocks, right? It's one of the biggest blocks. Don't you agree? But where are these clients? Where are these next level clients? And especially when you want to scale, there is, it's not anymore about the money. There is, I had a conversation with another projector today on the call, was like, yeah, she's paying me the money, but there is a certain recognition missing that I would love to have. So when money is not anymore the main goal, yes, we want to have the 50K, the 100K, whatever, or the next level that you said, the quality of the invitation and the recognition has to be there. And when you start with the quality where you are right now, it will make a difference and it will scale faster. So a lot of people focus on the money. How do I get money? And then you take on any client just to get the money. 
But if, you t if I tell you, if you focus on your dream client and attract through your content the right ones, and if you understand yourself so well, especially if you're a projector, your channels and how you broadcast and bring that into your into your content, into your offers and create offers based on your system. Everything is even more clear and speaks to your ideal client. So number one is attracting that right client, which is through your content, through your content. It's not through your offers. Does it make a difference? It's not through your offers. It's not like, hey, this is for you if you, hey, this is the value you get. Hey, no, that's not, that's the invitation that must be super clear when they go like, how can I pay you? How can I work with you? Then you have the offer. But the content and the brand, these two things are like a ongoing stream. That's the, how I, I call it energetic funnel. If you want to know how to build an energetic funnel through the content, through you modeling it and embodying your work, not through a, the funnels that you have out there. The Energetic Funnel Masterclass is with the link in my bio. It's one of the best. And it's actually worth $1,000 and it's just 100 Just saying. Okay? So if you want to dive deeper into that. And this one will also go into the HD Club Upgrade. Just decided. I like how I build my business model while I'm on a live stream. It's such a second line thing. We just go with the flow, right? And just up leveling everything which is in the club, in the upgrade. So client attraction will be a main pillar with even more content in the club upgrade. It's HD X10. So how do I talk to those clients? What actually happens is that when you are in front of, as I said, you want this client here, but you have all these people here and in the audience and a lot of my clients used to, until I tell them stop it, used to speak to their current audience, but they want to attract this type of client. But all your generators, you respond, respond, respond to the ones who are right in front of you. And then all your projectors, you absorb, 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 who are right in front of you. And all the manifestors try to initiate the fuck out and activate the fuck out of people who are in front of them, but they're not the right people. So how do we attract those higher level clients? And this is to receive the recognition from the ones who, want, who we want to be recognized for and from and not the ones who are in front of us. And we've got to focus. So projectors need to take away the attention of the ones who are amazing clients, amazing clients, but we want to grow. We want to, we evolve, we want to grow. We want to have the recognition, the invitation from those clients. And they are in your audience. hundred percent. I would bet a thousand dollars that your next level client, especially when you have fourth lines in your design, not only if you're a fourth line, I have 26.4. I know my client is watching this. I see you. I see you already. It's just that there has to, it has to be correct for them and their authority has to respond to my invitation, what I broadcast, whatever it is, so that there is the click. So when I talk to you and you make 20K and you want to scale to 50K and say, your next level client is in your audience and I know what we need to tweak in your recognition in your content in your offers and also in your prices a defined heart gives the mechanic energy to hold those prices without you needing to prove anything to charge that without explaining that you now charge more without even informing people that prices go up how does this feel very liberating right and that is then the recognition and the invitation comes. So your next level client is in your audience. How does it feel? How does this feel to you? You don't have to look for them. They're actually looking at you. But if you're talking to them, not to them, but to the ones who you actually don't want to attract, they don't feel, they don't feel um, spoken to. And of course they don't buy. 
Does this change the perspective, how you look at your audience? Does this change and get you out of the not self of, I don't know how, I don't know where they are, I don't know how to find them. You don't need to look for them. They're, they are looking. They are looking. It's about who do, I, who do they see? Who do they look at? Who do they look at? And this gives me, that brings me to the second thing. But it is important that you understand how to bring your definition into your content. Because usually what I see, and this is the first thing that I talk about with my clients, is that they talk to and from their not self. So when projectors observe something, then it's very quickly that they talk to the thing that is the gap. But client attraction does not work by talking to the gap what we see. It's about talking about and through our channels and about our system. This is what I teach right now in the stage. It will change and flip the entire energy. So this is one thing, creating a personal brand. Do you know yourself so well in your design that you can create your brand based on your design? That's my question to you. And then the second thing is, do you, do people, are you able to bring your offers across in a way that you don't even talk about it and sell without even mentioning them? I was in your audience more than six months and my first recognition of you was three months ago. I just felt the pull to join your live. But you're in my audience, you're, you're in, the, in the club for a long time now, Maria. You're already in the club, I don't get it. So this is something, how to bring everything into client attraction through your design, that's what is included in the HD X10 library. And then I look at your chart and we translate it into your business because that's actually the third part I want to get to what is three months now yeah so number one is client attraction you gotta speak to your next level client and that takes some shifting of your perspective in your content the second thing is when they look at you like we have kind of locked that in right they're already in your audience. They're watching you. Who do they see? Do they see the mentor that they want to hire? And I asked this, I wanted to ask this question. I forgot about this today because I did a little riff on client, rec on projector recognition, how our aura works, um, how we mentor as projectors in the club. Maria, thank you for the feedback that that really helped. So, I do intuitive trainings in there, in the HG Club. It's my most favorite place. I love that, doing that too, so much. It works so well with my design because I just get invitation to share something that I see, that I observe, and then it's a value for those. So when you look at yourself, do you think that your next level client would hire you? Are you the mentor that they want to hire? And usually when we want to attract a next level client, there's also certain things that we need to change and adjust within ourselves that are still coming from our not self. And that is um, not self patterns like weak boundaries, overgiving, conditioning, like codependency, feeling responsible for client results, <laughs> all the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being in the HD club. <laughs> thank you. So I noticed the more I live my design and focus on becoming the mentor they want to hire, also my, I get into my design. I just do what I can do best and focus only on this. And this empowers my clients through the mechanics and they experience so incredible shifts by me just doing what I can do best. 
But if I were in my head about how can I serve them, not sell, how can I hold space for them? This is the not self of the open ego, undefined ego, or the undefined solar plexus holding space because there's so much empathy. Um, all these thoughts are coming from the mind, and I'm not in my in my embodiment and in my integration of my design. I'm here to guide. I'm not here to do it for them. Okay, so. There are a, couple, a lot of things that need to be cleaned up. The work that I do most with clients, especially when scaling to a higher cash month, is refinement and cleanup and cutting out everything that you're doing in addition to what is actually required. And so the thing is that I know this is a lot of input and perspective shift. And I also want to say that Knowing what that means for your design and having a space where you can ask questions and know how to integrate this in design is the third pillar that is required to really see results. I'm not a fifth line that sells you a very practical approach that is easy to implement and everyone can implement. I'm a sixth line and I'm telling you now a concept and pillars. But I also tell you the truth that the third part, how to become that mentor that they want to hire, requires mentorship. So when you say, I want to get to my next level, are you the mentor they want to hire? Where do you need to clean up, hold boundaries? But do you have a mentor that can teach you all these things, that can also, most importantly, when the gap, like I said at the beginning, now we kind of come full circle. When the gap there is, when the fractal changes, when the, it takes time that the universe catches up and brings like all these rearranging, the, the mechanics, you work on yourself, all that. The gap, this, the in-between of the, per, the mutation, when you're in mutation state and you're unclear and you feel all these things are happening, you've got to have... A mentor that is able to hold you not hold you as I hold you it's like the energetics is a stability where you know no this is this is this is the work this is the work I don't spiral out I keep going I make the decisions and you have these conversations about your bullshit beliefs and about your fears some of my clients are on here I love you I love these conversations and I know that this is just the not self, this is the program wanting to pull you down. If you do not have those spaces, you gotta get into them because that is, that is the moment where most spiral out because you wanna become that next level mentor, but your mentorship does not reflect the energetic capacity that you can join. So thank you so much. If you, if I am your mentor, you want to hire. There are multiple options. You're gonna start with the HD Club. The link is in my bio. If you want to take it up further and want closer mentorship with me, the HD X10 is the place where I teach, and you get resources to all these topics that I talked about today. If you want information about this, you just message me. So, the, because the thing is, being mentored by someone who reflects that level is all about this holding it. I went through this entire summer with my mentors just holding it, holding it, holding it. Fractors in my fractal, destroying off everything, building this business from scratch in my design and crossing half a million dollars in this year till, till November in a way that felt so effortless and because I was not focused on it. I focused on my integration, on my design, because I know that everything from here can only be when we go into 2027. And even, even when I see what's coming March next year, you gotta be in your authority. 
you have to build everything in your life and in your business in your design everything else will be so you so dense so much not self so the program is so it's so dense and so I'm, I'm doing everything that I can from my side to create the spaces that you can join and become yourself I want to lead you to your success in your way that's my commitment and I know that my focus is a lot the next weeks on leaders women who want to make massive impact with your work a ripple effect like really creating cracks and ripples with your energy in the matrix in the program in the fractals and this can only happen when we strip away everything that the not self thinks that you have to do and that is fucking exhausting do you think do, are you with me when we realize that the exhaustion that we feel as projectors the frustration that comes up as generators the 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 anger that manifestors feel and the disappointment that reflectors feel is actually because we're trying so hard to be our not self but we try so hard to be a mentor or a coach that shows up this way or has the perfect things out there and don't show vulnerability and like how many people don't have their shit together everyone how many people don't know everything everyone but nobody really talks about it and of course a six line with a defined ego i don't give a shit about it I'm, I'm sharing the truth of it and the more and faster you get your energy behind it and lead from the place where you are now you will leap to the next level if you do not fully own the place where you are right now i tell you it it won't get better at the next level because you don't even get there yeah so but the thing is to become that mentor we need to clean up this is what what i do and model in all my spaces the HD club is the place to be I tell you to see even more behind the scenes because now I'm like okay next year the millions that also means upgrading my lifestyle I did this the whole summer not in order to show off my Chanel scarf here no but I finally deconditioned myself around all this to need to be someone who looks professional to be hired no most importantly as a projector you don't hire me for what I have built I'm not a generator I'm not a builder you do not hire me for building a business you hire me for what I see and that what I guide you towards it's about you and I want to lead you towards your success so you see that I could have Chanel scarf all over my face it doesn't matter that doesn't sell but this is what the not selves out there all preaching that you have to have achieved projectors you have to understand people don't hire us for what we have or what we know or what we show off with it's only what we see but if you're not fully correct in your design you cannot see correctly and that's why people don't hire you so it all starts with being in your design and generators like when you respond to the wrong shit you will be exhausted so boundaries saying no holding your prices really being only available of what is a yes to you is so generative for your energy that you finally get into your magic again and people want to be around you because it feels so good and then you, you do whatever your magic and your design to do with those people you get this so the number one key that is usually unlocking all these three things to get to your 50k is truly the conversations you have what do you talk about right now with your clients and what do you talk about right now with your mentors and ask yourself does this reflect the level i want to be at and i love all my clients but i know that my next level client the millionaire client and it's already in there but it's always it always grows so we want to stretch us the conversation I have with my mentors is always evolving I'm seeking the spaces where I get expanded I have a very I said that's today in in the HD club I'm very humble and when you study source you get even more humble about 
holy fuck, I now know what I don't know. And I gotta be a student, my lifelong, you bet. And not only student in source, but also student in becoming a better mentor because I'm bridging both sides. I'm bridging the source, the design knowledge, and I'm bridging with my channel of surrender, the business side. I want all people who are into design becoming this successful in business, in their design. That's my vision. So I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm getting better. So ask yourself, does your mentorship, do you have the conversation? Is there a space where you even talk about it? Because usually when I look around and when this thing goes down, and, and I mean, I shut it off, it will be, it will go down at some point next year. Who do you talk to? Who do you talk to? Do, can you have, do you talk design with your people? Is your penta reflecting, like the five people in your life, reflecting the level that you're aiming to be? If not, time to clean things up, time to change, time to get yourself into spaces. you got to create it for yourself. So always understand, where you are right now, you created it. Where you want to be, you will create it. It's fucking simple. It's mechanics. And so when we say it's just mechanics and someone says, you manifested it. No, fuck that shit. Like, just stop talking about manifestation. Let's talk design, mechanics. You're fractal. You're either on the right or the wrong one. And March will be a big timeline shift. There will, a fract will be a fracture happening. And it is important that you're on your fractal. It is defining your future. So I don't want to talk more about this. I will share more in the energy update tomorrow in the HD club. And we have a call on Monday, a Q and A where we go deep into that as well. So it's a good time to join the club, just saying. But the conversations you have will, ref will impact you most. They either expand you or exhaust you. That was a good one. And I know you're all now sitting there and I can feel it. It's so interesting. The more I do my thing and be in my, in my genius and then I stop talking, it's around here. It's my undefined G center where I receive all this silence on the other side of the screen about, oh, fuck. And then I feel how you're thinking and reflecting and how it's kind of digesting what I'm saying. Is that true? Can you give me a feedback? You sit there and like, okay, I got to I gotta get my shit together. I got to do something. Uh, analyzing and kind of assessing. Do you do a little audit right now of your life and your, what do you say, client audit? Um, mentor audit? Yourself? Self-audit? Yeah, is that kind of screening? I mean, you took notes, I know that. <laughs> you can watch the replay in the club tomorrow again, go through it again. And actually you wanna go through that over and over and over again because this is what we repeat. We rinse and repeat, we rinse and repeat. So I let you with this, like have self-awareness, create the self-awareness, I'm not doing the work for you. And that feels so good, you know? Um, you, but understand that it's your decision. You got where you are right now because you did it. So if it is something that you say it's good, but I want to get better, you can create better. If you say it's not so good, I really want to get my shit together, you can create it. Trust yourself. It's the power. It's just it's just mechanics. Understanding the mechanic helps. Understanding your design helps. When you say you know what, I understand myself so well on design, why don't, why don't I see the business results? Then there is, this bridge is missing. Channel 44, 26 can help you translate this into design. Your G-Center pulled you to those people who can, who have that, who can help you with that. You have to realize and see it and make the decision from your authority to do something with those people, to join my spaces is an opportunity, is a possibility, okay? If you say, I know all these things about business, 
I know I made 30, 20, 20, 30, 40 K. I want to grow. Why don't I grow? I tell you the only way to grow beyond in a sustainable way and I mean sustainable 2027 and everybody says 2027 is so far away. I tell you that the, the time goes faster and faster and you know this, you feel it already, right? The last week they flew by. Now it's Christmas again. Hello, where was this year? The time is really speeding up. It is real. It is reality. Like it is a thing. It's not just a saying, it's a thing. So when you feel, oh yeah, I did it as a business, um, then you don't see the results and you want to see better results with less effect and finally having more of these clients and not just here and there these wonderful clients you just want to have more and just be yourself then you have to understand yourself better and what i see with clients right away whether it's a session a one-off session or in a six-month container I look. I don't really look at the results right away uh, or the business right away. I really see which parts they don't understand about themselves well enough, and how to bring that in the business. That's the key, not other way around. And this shifts everything because then you don't have to really work so hard in the business anymore, and we strip away all the things, and then it frees up space. Because right now your fractal is very much determined from. By the not self things of working so hard program is good you're a really good student and really good follower of the program let's do something different shall we so that was my little master class today i really love the energy okay i'm gonna charge you 500 dollars for it <laughs> you're welcome defined ego hello wonderful stella manifester energy in the house Ooh, love it you just caught me um here's the thing i'm very transparent defined ego i talk i love talking about the money i just said that to ashen let's talk about money uh, because it's not it's nothing that we need to feel icky around okay so you can join the hd club and have an incredible space to start mentorship with me if you want to step it up a little bit more i want to aim for the 10k months the HDX10 is the space. I have all the resources, all the all the classes, master classes like this in a library. It is incredible. It's called the Boutique. I will launch it soon. It's, it's, it's an amazing space. And direct access, support from me, my guidance, my attention on your chart and your business. Amazing upgrade. Or if you want to scale to 50K, Club five is for you. And I know some of you are already tiptoeing about the club five. It's going to be a longer term mentorship with me, you and me in your business like this, as if we were doing life together. So whatever you feel the zing in your body, after you did your little audit, you just message me, you know what to do. You're, you're grown up. Always remember the program will be harder. To crack so let's be smarter and use mechanics okay so that was fun you're welcome I gonna talk to you in my DMs hmm? everyone else I talk who is already my clients I talk to you in all the spaces HD Club gonna be a big forecast of what's coming in 2023 tomorrow I'm gonna dive a little bit into the studies now be prepared. It's going to be good. And then I see you soon. Have a great evening. Bye.